Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here. Today I want to announce the release of our latest technical indicator, which is volume by price profile. Today I'll quickly break down what that is and how you can use it inside of Coifin. So the volume by price, or sometimes known as volume profile, is a technical charting indicator that displays the total volume traded at every price level over a user-specified period. Inside of Coifin, it's going to be an overlay on the y-axis of the historical price chart. For any security that has volume data, you'll now be able to open the historical chart line data series, click on the gear settings, and you now have the option of a volume by price overlay. We'll be able to dictate the number of periods, the colors of up and down, as well as add a point of control line as well. So the number of periods relates to the number of bars you see here on the right hand side of the screen. The up and down relates to the volume. And the point of control is a price level for the time period with the highest traded volume. Because this is a technical chart, I might want to change this to candles and I might want to change these to weekly candles. I might also want to add a volume overlay underneath for shares. So breaking down how this is calculated, the method for finding the total volume by price is that we first take the range, so the high and the low of the security over the period. And the period is specified by the user in the chart. So if we change this to one year, the period is going to be one year. If we change this to three, or if we scroll around, whenever you change the period in the chart, it's going to be changing the calculation in the background. So we use our period, we find our high and low to establish the range. We then divide the range by the number of zones or periods as we call them, so that each period represents an equal share of price movement. We then calculate the total volume traded within each of those periods to see the total volume traded within each of those price zones. So right now we have both of the up and down set to gray. So this is gonna be the total volume and it always will be. However, if you prefer to look at this as the kind of up down indicator, we can change these as well. So I might wanna change the up to a yellow color and I might want the down to be a blue color. So we break that out for you as well. I might want to have a bit more granularity in the number of periods. So we could change this to 29 if I'm so inclined. Alternatively, you could change this to 12 or set it to your preference. The point of control line is then gonna strike right through the bar with the highest traded total volume in that price range. So over the period that we're looking at for Lululemon here, we can see that the most volume traded typically occurred around this price range, which is between about $310 to $320. Change the period, the calculation is also going to update on the back end as well. If I pull this out to a really long time period, typically you wouldn't use this for a volume by price, but we can see that for years between 2012 and 2018, Lululemon was not flat, but it traded within a range of 84 to about $20 for a number of years. So a lot of the volume is going to be concentrated at those price ranges. If I change the period to one year, we get a more accurate representation of where Lululemon has been traded over the past 12 months. Something else to take note of here is that we allow you to specify whether you want to present adjusted or unadjusted prices. So that means adjusted for dividends versus unadjusted for dividends. Depending on your preference and which one you select, we will then use adjusted or unadjusted close prices to calculate this volume profile. So that kind of sums up the volume by price feature that we just launched. It was highly requested, so we're happy to get it out there. As always, you can drop a comment in the comment section below. Our help desk is help at coiffin.com. At coiffin charts is our Twitter handle. Until next time, thank you.